Hi, my name is Gil Robertson, president of the African American Film Critics Association. Today, we are delighted to be speaking to the brilliant cast and creatives responsible for the searchlight film, Empire of Life. Here's to the future. Walking those old scenes. Here's to getting back up. And here's to coming home. I get from JVS Media and Productions. Um, thank you guys for coming. Um, as a lover of cinema, um, like I just appreciated what you did with this. Like you, Sam, the way you directed it, but as a whole, you guys brought something of essence very important here. But Sam, the way that you wrote this, you tackled two distinct things that are still apparent right now today's time, which is mental awareness and health and racial discrimination. And so the questions go to actually Olivia, um, and Michael, I, I wanted to check with you guys, how did you guys deal with handling your characters individually, just from the racial discrimination side, <clears throat> and then from the mental awareness of what she's dealing with, um, and then together, they're having to also deal with it, you know, as, as a whole, like they're having to complement each other, but also get outside their comfort zone while dealing with their same. So I was curious y'all's approach with both your characters for Steven and for um, Olivia, your character? For, for me, I think I had an easier time of it because I had I had Sam who had, um, I'm gonna be talking about you like you're not here, but Sam who'd spent his childhood watching Like a Hawk, every change in eye makeup, every change in uh, behavior. So I had the, the perfect person to, and when I could say, coming off lithium, what's that like? When did this happen? How? How did you know that something was coming or what was, I had, I had the best helper in that to explain to me because he'd seen it all through his life. Um, so for me, I had him holding my hands through it. And because I, you know, thankfully I haven't had to deal with any mental health issues myself. So uh, it was easier for me and I can see how what you had to go through obviously was a different experience. Yeah. Um... For me, like, you know, reacting to the mental health stuff was um, really interesting because I haven't really been around um, someone like that before. Um, so I learned a lot within that um, process about that topic. And also, as well, Sam had like a, this research script <clears throat> where if you was reading something, you know, you could click on it and it would like, take you to a lot of the research that he'd done um, and stuff that we could help us know more. Um, and that's where I got um, a lot of like the, you know, the physical kind of research stuff from. But um, in terms of like, the, the racial aspect of it, you know, it, I feel like, you know, I haven't really experienced it like that, but um, my, my acting coach, Gary Nurse, who I've done a lot of work with um, for this character, he was, you know, around the same age as Steven within um, this time frame, like in the 80s. So he was kind of like someone that would have experienced a lot of this. So for authenticity and stuff like that, I'd ask him a lot of questions and, you know, how he would react to um, a situation like this and understanding how I would react to it in this time and kind of merging those um, ideas and feelings together, um, which was really important for me. You guys did phenomenal. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.